Hey guys, this is Lyndon again. Um, today we're going to do a little test, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to reconstruct um, both models of what you know the different groups of the world is. All right, scientists say you know we got this sun here, and then the world is a sphere, and it rotates around, and that creates the different days and nights, or whatever. All right, so in the flat Earth people say you know you got this um, I guess disc, and the sun hovers above the disc in circle to make the days and night. All right, so we got two different interpretations of the world that we see. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in this 3D software, I'm going to reconstruct both both models and I'm going to see, when we're going to examine them, study them, and see which model more represents what we see in the real world. So I want this to be a very honest test. I'm not going to look at this from the heliocentric, the sphere, the way scientists see it. I'm not going to look at it from that point of view. I'm not going to be biased. And I'm going to look at this uh, if anything from the flat earth view, but anyway, I'm just going to look at this honestly, my, that's my point. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the round earth first. Um, so here we have the world rotating, and here's the sun, I guess I can render it out. Sun's over here, and basically the world's just rotating. And we can look at it from a different view. And then, here is our, we have a person right here at this dot, and this is the person on the earth, and he's rotating around the earth. So he's in day, and he just rotates to night. So that's, that's the scientific interpretation of what happens when we have day and night. So there we go, that's the uh, model here. And basically we can go to this figure's view. So I have a camera here set up to go to his view. And this is what he sees. He's on the earth and he begins to rotate. So then he sees the sun go down. Alright, so that, that's that's what should happen with, with the um, heliocentric, heliocentric interpretation of what the world is. So the sun should just go down like this, go below the horizon, um, and so this is what we predict this this uh, reality to be when we use this model. So this is what I guess I keep repeating myself. This is what the we predict the reality to be. Okay, anyway, I guess that's about all I have to show. I mean, we have the Earth view and everything. That's just the Earth rotating, and it creates this scene. I guess I'll show it to you one last time before we leave. Here's the guy. And it just the sun rotates down. It moves. It knows it moves in a straight line down. So it moves. Sets. All right. So that's what we predict. So now let's. I guess we'll go ahead and move to the flat Earth reconstruction. So let's go to the flat Earth model sunset. Oh uh, yes. So here we are. Here we're on the flat Earth. So I, I very carefully. Um, and I'm. I'm like I said. I'm being honest about this. I very carefully measured. Um, the dimensions of this flat earth. I made sure and made it the right diameter. Um, I made the sun here too, so the sun object. And actually, uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. And I made it, uh, made it the right diameter. If we look at the sun object here, so I made it the right diameter and everything. So I made it uh, 32 miles in diameter and every, um, also made it the right height above the ground according to the flat earth measurements. Um, 3,000 3, miles above the ground. So I, made, I tried to be very careful and make reconstruct the flat Earth world the same way uh, the, the, the flat Earth society say it should be with the right dimensions and everything. So we have this from a top view, or let's see, let's look at this from different views. Top view. Here we go. So here's the uh, sun rotating around the Earth. There we go. So we have you know here's nighttime for Africa, and then it goes nighttime for America, whatever. All right. So there we go. Um, so let's go ahead and grab a first person view um, of the of the flat earth world so here we are we're in let's see where are we at we're in I think we're in Africa yeah we're in Africa here so let's go ahead and go to this view where it's at okay there we are we're in Africa so here is the Sun the Sun is right here and uh, it's in the sky Go ahead and render it out. Look at it. There's the sun in the sky. So as it begins to rotate, it begins to come around. Here's the moment to see what it actually does. It comes around. And strangely, it doesn't go below the horizon. That's a little bit strange. I made sure into these dimensions carefully. But you see, it's, the sun's on the other side of the world. And it's nighttime. We can go ahead and go to the top view. It's nighttime. But the sun, the sun hasn't set. So that's a little bit strange. So we can go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and play this to see what happens. So it goes around, and this camera targets the sun, so it's always pointing towards the sun. We can actually go to a different view. Um, so here's a, a stationary view of the sun, and it actually never goes below the horizon. 
So it's actually on the other side of the Earth, but it's three thousand miles above the ground, above the above the plane. So it's it's above the horizon, and it, and so it never actually goes below the horizon according to the measurements they give us. So I was very honest about this. I made perfect measurements, and this is what we see. This is really what we should see. And I was actually surprised about how small the sun is in the um, flat earth model. It's only 32 miles and I made the dimensions perfect and everything. That's really how small the sun should be in the flat earth model. So, uh, I mean, I guess, you know, the sun being small doesn't disprove anything. They may need to reconstruct their dimensions, but it doesn't seem right. I don't, I just honestly don't say this is not, this is not what we see in reality, okay? So, that's the reconstruction. That's honestly what I created and this is what we see. So here I actually, um, here's what really happens. Here's what we see in real life, regardless of whether it's flat earth or not. We can see the sun set. Um, let's, let's put this on quarter quality so it happens. Here's what happens. Um, here's the sun setting. And this is a uh, real video. Hold on, I can turn off the... Here's what happens. The sun, it actually does move in a pretty straight line. And just as an honest an honest interpretation of the evidence i I do say that this is more this is more similar to what I made in the first example the the example of the um the sunset with the round earth and see this is what we see in the round earth model, and this is what we see in real life and it does very accurately um it does very accurately portray what we see in this round earth model. And I think they're very close, so I don't think it would be too far of an assumption to say that this actually is the round earth. Because look at look how similar it is to what we did in the round earth. Anyway, it does it does move in a straight line. So here I bestly reconstructed what we would see in the uh with a uh, flat earth. I made I did, I'm I'm doing this honest guys, like I'm not trying to cheat to make it look bad. I'm trying to make it look as good as possible. And I'm, I, I tried to accurately animate what we would see with a flat Earth. So here's what we see, and it never goes below the horizon because it's always 3,000 miles above the horizon. Even though it does get closer to the horizon because it gets further away, it's al it's always going to be above the horizon because it's 3,000 miles above the plane. So, and you know, just being honest, I don't think this is what we see observe in reality. All right. Um, in reality, the sun moves in a straight line down and below the horizon. Um, but this, it doesn't exactly do that. Um, for one, they can see, actually see a round motion. You can see a round motion of the sun. And I don't think, I mean, it would go below the horizon if there were some mountains, but here we're on a lake, so it would never go below the actual true horizon. So, you know, that's, that's what I have to say. Um, there's actually a few more things I want to show you, like, I have an example here of, kind of reconstructing it and this time I didn't do a round motion just to kind of um, I guess um, be uh, please the people who don't think the sun does a round motion on the flat earth I don't know but anyway this one doesn't do a round motion it just goes straight gets farther and farther away and also it never goes below the horizon because it just gets closer and closer and closer to the horizon but it's never going to go below if it just gets farther away it would only go below if it actually started moving down like closer to the plane all right so it just gets further and further away and it never goes below the horizon. And I just don't think we see this in real life. And I'm being honest. I'm doing this video with an open, honest mind. And this isn't what we see in real life. All right. So I kind of reanimated. This is more what we see in real life. So it goes down and it just really goes below the horizon. That's what we see in real life. All right. And there's actually the original image. I'm going to open the original image. I did a lot of photoshopping. But here... But not in the original. This is the original image. There's no photoshopping involved. So th there, there's the original image right there. And the sun is actually going below the horizon. And I actually have several images of the uh, sun going below the horizon. Oh, sorry. Here they are. I was using the other monitor. I'm sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open these images. I guess it's kind of slow. So the the sun is actually going below the horizon, and it doesn't get really tiny, tiny like we see in these examples, like. Here the sun gets really tiny um, as it gets further away. Um, this example, I'm sorry, it's going kind of slow. Here it gets really tiny as it gets further away because it gets really, really far away. It goes to the other side of the earth, so it gets really far away. But see, in these examples, the sun doesn't really get smaller. Um, they just, and it goes below the horizon. So this, 
I think honestly, the round earth does give a better explanation for this. So uh, at least for this, uh, for this piece of evidence, I'm going to have, I'm going to have to give the round earth one point for this because it does more accurately portray what we see in real life. See, it's actually going below the horizon, and all these examples. So here's the reflection here. Oh, actually, some people say that this reflection explains for why the sun goes below the horizon. But I don't think that's true because the reflections only distort a, a small portion of the image. Like, for example here, this is with the reflection. And you can easily just Photoshop to see what it looks like without the reflection. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can easily just fix it. That's what it looks like without the reflection. So, and we have other examples like this. Here's, and we have the example with the reflection. That's what it looks like with the reflection. Here's what it looks like without the reflection. So this is a, a true image of what it really looks like without the reflection. So, um, you know, I don't think the reflection is a good excuse for why it goes below the horizon. Um, and for more examples, uh, I think that's about it for this video. Hopefully I've uh, portrayed my point very well. Um, I don't know what you guys think about this. Oh yeah, last point. The point about the uh, sun getting smaller. So it's, sometimes it does appear that the sun is getting smaller as it gets closer to the horizon. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and measure the size of the sun right here. Let's go with full quality so we can see. Let's go ahead and kind of measure the size of the sun. So I'm gonna get an ellipse tool and I'm just gonna kind of measure the size of this. So you guys bear with me. I'm gonna measure the size of the sun. I'm gonna do an honest measurement. Uh, sorry about this. I kind of darken it so I can see a little better. So I think it's about like there. Go to the very edge there. And the edge here. Edge here. So that's the size of the sun um, at this point of time. And then as we move forward in time, let's see if the sun gets a little bit smaller. So we go ahead and move forward. And interesting, it does seem to get a little smaller. That's so, you know, what's the explanation? It does seem to, it doesn't necessarily do what it did in the flat earth model where it gets really, really small. So in the flat earth, it gets really, really small. Uh, but in the round earth, it shouldn't get smaller at all, really. I mean, it gets pretty much the same, it's the same size. But here in this example, we can actually see it did get a little bit smaller. So what's going on here? So if we do say the world is round, why is this sun getting smaller? And that is a reasonable um, a reasonable question. So, and I'll go ahead and tell you the answer. And it really lies because when the sun is in the sky, it's really bright, so it really glows out. So, and when it when it and when, when the sun begins to set, it gets darker, and so we can actually more really see the true shape of the sun because it gets darker. And it, and and but when it gets uh, gets high into the sky, it really glows, and it, and I mean that glow really makes it look bigger. And I can kind of show you what I mean here. So, if we add a, a actually a, a glow effect, so I'm gonna type in glow glow and I can get this glow effect and you can actually see that let's see here Let me go ahead and turn off the colors when we um, when we begin to glow something it actually makes it seem to look bigger like okay sun begins to glow see there when it begins to glow it makes the sun look bigger than what it actually is so when the sun's in the sky it's actually not that big it just it just glows out I mean that's, that's common knowledge that if something's in the, if something's really bright, it's going to glow and make it look bigger than what it actually is. So when it sets, that glow actually diminishes because it gets darker. And so and, and actually, if it did still glow when it hit the horizon, it would still look about the same size. See here, it's glowing. So that's um, that's the explanation for why the sun gets a little bit smaller when it gets to the horizon because there's less glow, right? When the sun's in the sky, it really glows out, but when it gets gets close to the ground, it really gets darker. And uh, I don't know if I have time to have a little explanation for why it gets darker. Uh, whatever, I can't find it. Anyway, um, anyway, but the reason why it gets darker because it has to pass through more atmosphere and the light gets filtered out. So that's why it gets darker. That's the explanation. Um, so I hope that's satisfactory to you guys for why the sun gets a little bit smaller when it goes to the horizon. Um, other than that, I think we're pretty much finished here. And this is a was a real video, by the way. I didn't, I didn't. Um, this is visual effects. I just, this is a real video of a sunset. And we've seen sunsets like this. It's not unbelievable. All right. So I hope I've pretty much explained everything. I hope I have. This, sorry, this video went a little over time. It was a little long. But um, you know, I hope this gives you a good idea that um, what we see here in the globe model, it's actually 
quite accurate to what we see in real life. And I really accurately tried to represent what we see in the Flat Earth model. And this is what we will see. It's 3,000 miles above the horizon. And I don't know. I just feel that this is not what we observe in real life. Here's this simulation again I have of the sun. And I just honestly don't think this is what we see in real life. So that's my point of view. You know, you're, you have the right to think whatever you want. But um, I hope I made my point very clear in this video. So hopefully you'll, hopefully you'll understand my point. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment if you have any questions because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here to discuss it with you. And I'm, I guess I'm going to stop talking now because this video is too long. Again, see ya.